to show you how to write a radio code so that the two micro bits can communicate with each other. My daughter Mackenzie is going to help me. So I've already programmed these so that um, they will send either the word yes if you push button A. So Mackenzie will push button A and my micro bit will say yes. And then if she pushes button B, my micro bit will say no. So now when she's in another room working on something, we can communicate. So she's going to go to a different part of the house. Okay, so she's in another part of the house and I'm gonna ask her a question and see what her answer is. Hey, Mackenzie, do you want a snack? Oh, she does want a snack, surprise, surprise. Let me ask her another question. Hey, Mackenzie, do you wanna go for a walk with me? No, she's probably just gonna sit around and watch YouTube. Let me show you how to write the code for this program. to do is go into basic and pull out an on start block then go into the radio drawer and pull out a radio set group to put in the on start block you can choose any number from 0 to 255 it really doesn't matter which number it's kind of like um, picking a channel for walkie talkies the next thing we're going to do is go into input and pull out an on button a pressed so when we press button a we want the word yes to appear on our second micro bit so we just need to go back into radio and pull out sh um, radio send string and then yes make sure you're not putting a value or number it should say radio send string and then type in yes go back into input pull out on button a pressed and we're going to change it to button b pressed we're going to do the same thing go into radio um, the radio drawer, pull out radio send string because we're sending words. We want to type the word no there so that when we push button B, it sends the word no to our second micro bit. Third thing I'm going to have you do is on button A plus B pressed, I want it to send your name. So this is a game we could play if we were in class, um, but for today it's just so that I know you wrote the code yourself. So go get radio send string again and put your name there so I know that you wrote this code. Now we need to tell the micro bit what to do when it gets these um, words, yes, no, or Mrs. B. So go back into the radio drawer and we need on radio received, received string. Pull that out onto your workspace. And in order for the micro bit to show us either yes, no, or Mrs. B, we're gonna have to go back into basic and pull out show string hello. Put that under the on radio received, receive string. Now the last step is to click on receive string here, drag it out and put it where it says hello. So now when you push button A, it's gonna show up a second micro bit and then it will um, scroll the word yes. So let's check it out on my emulator full screen. I push button A and it pulls up a second micro bit. Now when I push button A on the second micro bit, it says yes. When I push button B on the second micro bit, it says no. And when I push A plus B together, it scrolls my name. It will go from the second micro bit to the first one also. So if I push button A on the second micro bit, it's gonna scroll yes on the first one. If I push B, it's gonna scroll no on the first one and A plus B will scroll my name on the first one. All right, have fun coding today.